Frank Crozier, and Tyler Dimmon. Now let's please put your hands together for your Busco Prairie City Spartan. You win tonight's contest for every one win and five losses. Starting at one guard, number two, a senior, Gavin Pimble. Starting at the other guard, number 23, a senior, Osmond Peralcu. Starting at center, another senior, number 34, Nate Traber. Starting at one forward, number 24, a senior, Dalton Huffman. And at the other forward, number five, a senior, Caden Paul. The Spartans are coached by Tyler Snyder and assisted by Steve Martin and Devin Yoker. Tonight's officials are J.D. Beal, Ron Brandt, and Brian Sullivan. And welcome to TSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH as we get set for the varsity matchup between the Rushville Industry Rockets and your BPC Spartans. This game brought to you by JoJo's Gaming Parlor. JoJo's Gaming Parlor offers the best gaming experience in the McDonough County area. Stop in for a cold drink and a chance to take home a nice wad of cash while you're at it. Also on game events, check out this TSR Game Time Live broadcast presented by MDH Events live on the big screens. Come join your friends at JoJo's, located at 776 North Cole Street in Bostonville and cheer the Spartans on to victory. Spartan Sports brought to you by Devin Raleigh Shelter Insurance. As we get set, Spartans win the tip. Into the corner as Gavin Pemble has the ball on the drive. Out of bounds, it'll be Spartan ball. Gavin Pemble out there with Caden Palm. Alongside Osmond Perelku, Nate Kramer, and Dalton Huffman. Cross half court. Ian Escapa. Oops, excuse me, that's 20, not 21. Scott Norton. Back up top, more motion for the offense. And they roll into the corner. Free tag, the freshman starting alongside his brother, Bennett. Free tag. Spins around, Nate Kramer, and there'll be a travel. Can't get it to go. Now BPC with the ball. Still nothing, nothing. 7-17 remaining. Looking towards the left side. Gets back up top. Now Osmond with the ball. Nate Kramer on the elbow. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Carter Freetag. Freetag, the freshman starting. Look back to the corner. He's on the drive. Nate Kramer, that's going to be tipped and fouled by Osmond Perelku. Two shots up coming for Jordan McGinnis. As that is Nate Kramer with the foul. His first team first. First shot up coming for him. That one off the front iron. This game brought to you by Sports Corner 124. Macomb's original local sports bar is the Sports Corner 124 with a focus on local sports. Catch WIU games in all the area TSSR game time live broadcast at Sports Corner 124. All while enjoying some of your, the, excuse me, all while enjoying your favorite cold drink, some of the best food in West Central Illinois. Stop in and say hi at 124 North Randolph Street in Macomb. Osmond Perelko bringing that up to the court as that first one will fall, so Rockets get on the board. 1-0 and an off-ball foul. Charge to number three, Jordan McGinnis, his first team first. Saw multiple fouls in this first JV contest. We'll see how it goes for the varsity one. Shot up and, man, it just amazes me how tall Caden Palm is. Like, just able to get up, utilize his one arm to put it right in. Did it fall? Is that one stolen away as Perelku gets a little bit of a head himself on the ground? Fights off some other players. He's going to go right back. Pass down to Dalton Huffman for two. 
And the Spartans take the lead, 2-1. Down low. Three misses, rebounded. It's almost stolen away. Hands all around and foul on the ground. We'll see if it's Kramer or Huffman. It will be Gavin Pimble with the call. His first team second. Spinning around top of the key and Perilku gets the foul. Team third. And coming in the game for Osman will be Brock Beekman. Shot is up, misses, and rebounded by Free Tag. Free Tag fighting forward, stolen away by Dalton Huffman. And shot is up for Palm. Excuse me, Beekman misses. And in, blocking foul will be the charge. So two shots upcoming, charge to Nate Kramer, his second team fourth in the first three minutes. Two shots upcoming. First one falls for Scott Norton. Trying to pass it back out, 4.44 to go. And Norton will go down to the left side. That defended by Pemble. Free tag, underneath, three. Misses. Tipped by Kramer. Beekman on the 2-1. Puts it up for two, misses, and a blocking foul. Ooh, and he is not happy wanting something other than a blocking foul called. However, you got to have your feet set to get a charge. Be the second charge to Jordan McGinnis. Team second, first shot for Barack. That one falls, and the Spartans tie it up. Into the game for McGinnis. That will be number 23. Hunter Triplett. And a number 30, Connor Upton into the game, switching out with Gavin Pemble. Second shot for Brock. That one misses, tipped, and that'll be rebounded by the Rockets. Possession arrow going towards the Rockets as well. Top of the key, down low to free tag, and a charge. Be charged against Scott Norton, his first team third. Upton with it, top of the key, looking right now. And ooh, a little miscommunication there between the two. And it'll be stolen away by the Rockets. Still tied at three here with 3.50 remaining in the first. 
skip past the free tag. Free tag move, and that's going to be blocked. Ooh, fouled by Kramer. He's got three, and just like the JV game, three fouls very fast for the center. So Rockets now in the bonus. That is the fifth foul. And it looks like Tanner Kleindance will be coming into the game to switch in with Nate Kramer. First shot for free tag will fall. That is Bennett free tag, his second point of the game. And Kleindance will come in. And that's going to be an over in the back. Call on number two, Carter Freetag, his first team fourth. Switching into the game now, number 42, Tanner Pierce. Pierce drives. Gets it to Connor Upton, round. Beekman with it, top of the key. Upton back to Beekman. Pierce looking on the right side, 3.13 to go. Tanner on the top of the key. Upton almost loses it. They'll look to swing it around. Beekman on the drive. Case right back to Dalton Huffman. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Bennett Freetag. Freetag hands that one off to Hunter Triplett. On the ground, free tag, and a foul charged. And they're going to say it was on a shot. Oh, excuse me. Still not used to the new foul rules as the five fouls is double bonus no matter what. First one will miss. Couldn't quite see exactly who they called that on. And the shot misses. Upton over to Beekman. Swings it around. Beekman top of the key now. 2.30 to go. 4-3 to three, your score. Very close game so far. Kleindance, he takes it way high. Misses. Rebounded by Dalton Huffman. He's going to put it up himself. Huffman has four. As it makes it a 5-4 game. And he can't get a hold of that one. Put the cart before the horse. Oh, thank you. I don't know why they had my thing all wrong. Number 23 is Rylan Reimolds. We do have live chat open, folks. Anybody watching out there, if I screw something up, Lord knows I'm going to do it 17 times. So do be sure to put down anything I get wrong, anything you think we can do better. We're here to help. Brock Beepin gets set to shoot two after the foul. And that'll miss. Five four, your score, second shot opportunity. Beekman nails it. Six four, your score. That'll be tipped, stolen away by Tanner Kleindance. Kleindance taking it down the road, hands it off to, ooh, to Huffman, but they will call the foul. A little bit of late call, but hey, got the call no matter what. Charge to Carter Freetag, his second, team fifth. Both teams in the bonus now for the rest of the quarter, the next minute and 39 seconds. And Huffman gets the first to go. 
into the game, number 33. J number 33, where is that? Wait, oh, shot by Huffman. It might help if I was looking at the right roster. <laughs> Jason Klitz in for the game, number 33. 135, eight to four now your score after the shot by Huffman. Tipped by Tanner Pierce. Jason able to get it high up, but way too high for Bennett Freetag. It'll be Spartan Balls that rolls into the tunnel. 124 to go. 25, Jackson Spencer into the game. And a timeout taken. So we'll take a quick break here on TSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. There's been a lot of rewarding parts working at McDonough District Hospital. I've had patients come to me that maybe have not had care in the community, care available. So with the addition of nurse practitioners lately, we've been able to add more care, and that's very rewarding to me. My hope is that when the patients leave at the end of an appointment, they leave and they definitely feel like they've been listened to, and they feel like they're needs have been met, their cares have been met, and that they're going to get the proper treatment that they deserve from me as a provider. Uh, I see acute injuries on the field. Uh, I see uh, ankle sprains. I see ACL knee injuries, as well as in the clinic. It's very rewarding to see them from on the field injury to rehab to transition back to their event. MDH Sport Medicine Rehab is just not for the athlete. Um, we see a variety of ages, getting them from having pain to no pain to get back to their normal activities and their prior level of function. Welcome back to TSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. This game brought to you by Pond Plus. Pond Plus is proud to have served Macomb and the surrounding area for over 20 years, providing cash and most items of value. Pond Plus is the area's largest seller of used items, including firearms. They provide on-site jewelry repairs and are open 9 to 5, Monday through Saturday. They have a great selection of jewelry, electronics, tools, and video games. Located at 324 West Jackson Street, Macomb, between Ayerco and Taco Bell. On the handoff, wide open, puts it. Ooh, that does not go in. I thought he had that dead to rights, but just gets caught in the corner. Ooh. 53 seconds to go, 8-4, your score. As both teams get into a little bit of foul trouble, Nate Kramer with three, two for Carter Freetag, two for Jordan McGinnis. Tanner on the corner, misses. Oh, Tanner Kleindance, excuse me, as we do have Tanner Pierce out there as well. And way high again. They are chucking it. And Kleinitz will take it out. <laughs> 10 seconds to go, Beekman. Looking, and he'll hand it down to Connor Upton. Upton takes one underneath. Oh, just misses. Last touch by Pierce. Pierce tries to save it, cannot. So three seconds to go in the third quarter. Third quarter, first quarter. <laughs> three, two, and one. Way down, can't get it. No, he does. He does get it. Count it for two. Wow. That'll be the end of the first quarter. Eight to six, your score. We'll take a break and be back here on TSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. There's been a lot of rewarding parts working at McDonough District Hospital. I've had patients come to me that maybe have not had care in the community, care available. So with the addition of nurse practitioners lately, we've been able to add more care, and that's very rewarding to me. My hope is that when the patients leave at the end of an appointment, they leave and they definitely feel like they've been listened to, and they feel like they're needs have been met, their cares have been met, and that they're going to get the proper treatment that they deserve from me as a provider. MTC Communications is building a high-speed fiber network in our community, and we're putting priority on the areas with the greatest interest. 
That means we need your input to let us know you want us to build fiber in your area first. Experience the speed and convenience of fiber internet by visiting our special website and registering. Let us know you want fiber internet today and make your voice heard. And welcome back to TSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. Set for the second quarter, stolen away, but can't get it. Free tag, can't get it, but that one last touched by Huffman. So it will stay with the Rockets. 7.49 remaining here in the first half. This game brought to you by Midwest Ice. Do you need ice for your upcoming event? Look no further. Midwest Ice has got you covered. Midwest Ice is Central Illinois' newest ice delivery service, delivering ice directly to your event. Call Blaine Wrench at 309-351-8192 for a quote today. Rockets able to get two to tie dot eight. Stolen away, looking for the lead now. That one, last touch by the Spartans. It will stay down towards the left side. They're looking for pass out towards the back. Now, I don't know why, but Coach Snyder has changed from his white pants to the gray pants. He was wearing the white pants earlier. Puts it up for two misses. Rebounded by Huffman. Might have to ask him that in the post-game interview. A very pressing question, I know. <laughs> Long two misses, rebounded by Bennett Freetag. Still 8-8 eight eight here, seven minutes to go. Drive by Reimolds. Puts it up for two. That's Jagger Bartlett. Three for Pemble Falls. Eleven to ten now. Spartans with the lead once again. Back over three, blocked away by Clyde Dents. Given right back, however, and then the foul. Foul on the steal attempt, we'll see. Do they call it on? They do call it on Tanner. Clyde Dents, his first, team first of the half, of the, excuse me, of the quarter. New rules still not clicking right now. Over, top of the key. Tanner for two, misses that one. On the drive, right side. Rimmel, right back, three. That one misses, but an over the back call. Over the back called on. Bennett Freetag, I do believe, indeed, his first, team first. Looking like the refs trying to cut down on some of the rebounding plays. Tanner Pierce switches out with Tanner Kleindens. go towards the Spartans. Oh, he went to the wrong side. So it'll be called on Dalton Huffman. His first team second as Connor Upton comes back into the game. I wonder why he pointed the wrong way.
across half court. Step up underneath, nobody there except for Beekman, misses. Oh, and a late foul. It's, it's like he's waiting for the shot to go down or not, whether to call the foul. So two shots upcoming for Bennett Freetag. Hits the first. Like, yeah, it, it was a foul, but it's one of those things where it just seems like it's always been late. And I don't quite know why. Misses the set. Oh, man. <laughs> Bounced around a few more times, then it finally fell. So Freetag gets then the lead now, 12-11. Upton with the ball, stolen away on the fast break right there, puts it in. 34, Reed Freetag. Oh, we got two Tanners on Bushnell, three three free tag. Oh, three free tags on the Rockets. Three for Connor Upton. Misses on the ground. Tried to save it. Can't. No man, he hit his head hard. Glasses off. Upton is up. Looks like he banged his head, but he'll be fine. Back around top of the key for Bartlett. Puts it in, oh man, palm for two. Coach Snyder giving the referee a little talking to about the push of the arm. And it sounds like a few of our crowd have some colorful language for the Zebras. Two shots for Bartlett as he hits the first. And miss, miss, makes it, excuse me. Bartlett makes both. 16-11. Looking towards Palm, Gavin Pemble will drive. And a push called. We'll see who they call this one on. It's gonna be charged to Jagger Bartlett, his first team second. Sixteen eleven back out, drive by Pimble, two, lays it in. Gavin Pimble has five. Sixteen thirteen now. Rockets are in the bonus, three. That misses, rebounded by Tanner Pierce. Around top of the key, Tanner Pierce. Gives it right back to Pemble. Has a screen. Ooh, fancy little pass up and long three misses. Rebounded by Bennett Freetag. Ooh, Barlett almost loses that one. Drives, a little hesitation works. Kicks it right back up top. Down low, has the height advantage, kicks it out. Three, Bartlett. And it is stuck. Oh, Beekman almost got it. Third time's a charm. Can't get it, maybe the fourth. And it's good. <laughs> Possession arrow will go towards the Spartans. And the referee had to make sure that don't count that as good. <laughs> Three minutes to go here in the first half, 16-13 as the Rockets lead. Upton swings it across to Pimble. A little high on the pass. Around to Beekman, Beekman. Palm trying to post up in the middle. As he does, spins it around, puts it up for two. Misses. Nice little post spin though. On the drive, who's got him? And just a full press.
That'll be charged to Connor Upton, his first team fifth. So every foul from now on will be a two-shot foul. Misses the first. Tanner Kleindance into the game for Connor Upton. Just a little miscommunication there on defensive alignment. And that one will fall. Reimolds gets his first shot of the day. Looking down to Klein Dance. Caden Palm will drive. He goes up for two. And it'll be another foul. Blocking foul. It'll be charged to number 34, Reed Freetag. His first. Team third. First shot is up and good for Caden Palm as he gets onto the board. This game brought to you by Western Illinois University at WIU, Western Illinois, ooh, <laughs> Western Illinois University. Leathernecks don't just blend in because purple stands out. At WIU, there is limitless potential. With campuses in Macomb, Quad Cities, and online, visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. Free tag, rolls, 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 and misses. Rebounded by Norton and way high, last touched by the Rockets. It'll be BPC ball. Coach Snyder, not quite liking the speed of the game so far. Telling his players just to slow down just slightly. Tanner Pierce drives in, puts it up for two, misses. Just a little bit too much on it. 138 to go, 17-14. And a timeout taken by Rushville. So we'll take a break here on TZR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. There's been a lot of rewarding parts working at McDonough District Hospital. I've had patients come to me that maybe have not had care in the community, care available. So with the addition of nurse practitioners lately, we've been able to add more care and that's very rewarding to me. My hope is that when the patients leave at the end of an appointment, they leave and they definitely feel like they've been listened to and they feel like their needs have been met, their cares have been met, and that they're gonna get the proper treatment that they deserve from me as a provider. Minimally invasive surgery offers a variety of benefits to the patient. Um, we are now able to offer patients a variety of operations with small incisions rather than big open incisions. The surgeries that we can do now, um, minimally invasive, include bariatrics, hernia repair, colorectal surgeries, faster recovery, smaller incisions, um, faster time back to work. And welcome back to TSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. 115 to go, Reimolds with the ball. 17-14 still your score. Free tag posted up, top of the key, rolls pass, open three, Reimolds. Can't get it. Great box out there by Gavin Pemble. Had all the time in the world to grab it. And he'll drive down and a blocking foul. Fourth team foul for the Rockets. It's another one there with that drive, throws the elbow up. Haven't called one of those yet. All has been blocking fouls. 54 seconds to go. Both teams now in the bonus. Still 17-14. And they've got two, one right there for Tanner. Tanner can't get a hold of it as he gets punched out from behind. So they'll set it up again. New play this time. He'll roll around, Tanner up top, over to the course. And there he is, big three. Nails it. Tanner Pierce ties the game. 17, 17, 42 seconds to go. And a travel call. Spartans with a chance now to take the lead before the end of the half. Hey. 
They'll take a few runs right. Top of the key, down low. Tanner Pierce puts it in, misses. Last touched by the Rockets. Well, by the Spartans, I guess. Looks a little bit like Kleindens moved his hand. Drive, look around, puts it in, free tag, misses, and ooh, gets the rebound. No, oh, Tanner Kleindens with the half ending block. We'll go to the half 17 17. And we'll take a quick break here at halftime and be back with some halftime scores here. Well, halftime stats. So you still used to football halftime scores on Friday. We'll take a break and be back on TSR Game Time Live presented by MDH. As you know, MDH is our title sponsor here on TSSR Game Time Live, and we're here with Lindsay Douglas, the Director of Physician and, Re and Provider Recruitment. I about left out provider out of that. So Physician and Provider Recruitment here at MDH. It's a huge mouthful for me, so explain <laughs> to us what that is. Sure. So um, I am in charge of bringing in candidates for both physician and provider positions here at MDH. So provider meaning anything like nurse practitioner, um, advanced practice nurse practitioner, uh, physician assistant, things like that. So I source those candidates, bring them in, and try to find the best providers and physicians to provide care at our facility. So you found a home at MDH. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? How long have you been here? Stuff sure. like that. So I am from Macomb originally. I graduated from Macomb High in 2009, graduated from WIU in 2014, um, studied communication there, and started my career in politics and worked for um, a couple different state representatives and state senators, um, then found myself in the educational realm for a little while at the Regional Office of Education, and um, eventually found myself here at MDH. I started here in February of this past year. Um, I started out as patient advocate and um, this role opened up and I'm now in the role of director of physician and provider recruitment. Obviously McDonough District Hospital very important to Macomb. Sure. And it's the communities not only of Macomb but Bushnell, Colchester, Blandonsville, Industry. You're from here. So, so what was it that drew you back here and got you to stay here at MDH? So MDH is like home to me. Um, I am a fourth generation MDH employee. So my great grandma, Nancy Weaver, was one of the first nurses that they hired when the hospital opened in 1958. My grandma started working here maybe 10 to 15 years after that. She started as a um, CNA on acute care, and then she worked in peds, and eventually um, she worked as the unit secretary for home health and hospice, and she retired from that position after being at MDH for a total of 50 years. Um, my That's a long time. <laughs> yeah. My mom is here as an administrative secretary. She's Brian's um, administrative assistant, and so... I'm now here as a fourth generation employee of the hospital. So it was kind of a thing where I always thought I might end up at MDH just because of that family legacy of working in healthcare. So before we came on camera, I heard a story. You guys were at a speaker recently and you got to be there with your mom. Yeah. Does, does that make it really special to be a part of MDH to be still have your mom working? It's here? so cool. Um, my mom is down the hall from me. So if I need something in the middle of the day, I can run down the hall and grab her. Um, but it's also just cool to think about like the legacy that that leaves in the community, especially being fourth generation and female. I think that that's just a really special thing for um, my family and for this community here. So as we look at those kind of, you, you have a personal connection here. How do you use those personal connections when you're out trying to recruit a physician or a provider? Sure. So um, I use the story a lot of my office, actually. So I'm in room 318, which um, was a uh, 
room for patients at one time, and now they've converted it into an office space. And one of my favorite stories to tell physicians is that my great grandma was sick in the hospital and um, was in that room. And that's where my grandma was recruited to join MDH. So my grandma had no plans of working in healthcare, but she was taking care of her mom um, as a sick patient. And the nurse at the time came to her and was like, you are such a great caretaker. Why are you not a nurse? Why are you not doing this as your full-time um, occupation? And so my grandma decided that healthcare would be her um, lifetime and like 50 years. Um, and so she started working for MDH and was recruited right out of my office. So I just find that to be a really special connection when I'm looking to bring people to this community. Like the recruitment started in this office 50 years ago. And here I am starting a whole new legacy of recruiting people. And I just am so passionate about this community. And I just love living here. I moved back here from Quincy, chose to um, raise our family here um, just because we're really, we really love Macomb and we really love being in McDonough County. So obviously the personal touch, you got the great personal story. You, you love Macomb. What does MDH offer to the providers and the physicians What's, what's the sales point for you on a professional level? So um, because we're a small rural healthcare organization, your voice is heard here much louder than when you're in a large organization. So when you're in one of those larger hospital systems, you might be one of 15 to 20 providers in a specialty. At MDH, you might be one of two, you might be one of one. And so your voice in that medical staff um, office is going to be the loudest one in the room about your specialty. And that's a really unique situation for a physician to be, you know, the main voice for speaking for pediatrics or for speaking for orthopedics or whatever that specialty is. You're, you're it. You're the guy. You're the one providing the care for the whole community. And you don't get that if you go to a large healthcare organization. So those bonuses are probably obstacles in some cases as well. Sure. So how do you overcome those obstacles? Um, it really depends on the provider. You know, if someone is really wanting to um, be in a place where they're not, they're just one in the background. They don't want to be that main voice. You know, we just, I kind of have to tell them, you know, this is unique. You know, this is, it's a unique community where you're going to go out into Walmart to get your groceries and run into one of your patients. And you're not going to find that everywhere. And that might be scary for you thinking about, well, I don't want to mess somebody's care up and then run into them and have to explain it to all of Walmart. Um, but it's just, you can also sell that as you're not going to go to Chicago and work somewhere um, where you're going to run into your patients every day. Well, Lindsay, I appreciate you coming and talking to us today. Hopefully some people can understand more about MDH and how it's such a family oriented business and, and so important to McDonough, McDonough County and the surrounding area. Keep doing a good job. And, and maybe your, your little girl that wanted that hundred chicken nuggets <laughs> can uh, be the next generation yes, to join MDH. Exactly, exactly. Well, we'll be back after halftime here on TSSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. At Western Illinois University, Leathernecks don't just blend in. Our purple stands out. Our students are innovative, creative, and resilient. At WIU, there is limitless potential with campuses in Macomb, the Quad Cities, and online. Visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. Hey, welcome back to TSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH, 17 to 17 here at the half. So we get set for the third quarter. Spartans just came out. Two minutes to go here in the halftime. Looking at the halftime scores. Leading the Spartans with six. Dalton Huffman followed by five with Gavin Pemble. Three for Tanner Pierce. Two for Brock Beekman and one for Caden Palm. And for the Rockets, six for Bennett Freetag. Four for Jagger Bartlett. Two for Jackson Spencer, two for Reed Freetag, 
and one for Scott Norton, one for Rylan Reimold. We'll see exactly, try to have the same offense strategy, or if they try to go with something different here against this Rockets defense. This game brought to you by McDonough Chick Hospital. Thank you for voting. McDonough District Hospital Rehabilitation Center is best of the best in McDonough County. Let their experience in dedicated sports medicine, rehabilitation staff show you why MDH has been voted best of the best. Three convenient locations to review, two in Macomb and one in Bushnell. And we like to thank John Jones down there with the pep band like always. 17 to 17, eight minutes to go. Here in the third quarter as we get set, it will be, well, looks like it'll be a Rockets ball. And we'll see how they change things up at the half. Swings things around, Carter Freetag out there alongside Bennett Freetag. Also Jordan McGinnis. Read free tags, so all three free tags out there. That's not going to confuse me at all. And Scott Norton, Osmond Perelku misses. Hasn't played much, got into foul trouble early. Also with Nate Kramer out there, he also has three fouls. Fouls have been a big issue with this game so far. See in the second half of that changes, and looks like no as Osmond Perelku gets a reach in. Well, we apologize for that. A kid just ran through, unplugged everything. So, two for somebody, I can't tell. Three for free tag. <laughs> Thanks, Coach Butcher. Which free tag was it? <laughs> uh, looks like it was Carter free tag. Hopefully that doesn't do anything other than you couldn't see anything for about half a minute. 6.40 to go, 2017 will give Matt Carter free tag a three. His first points of the day. And Carter, excuse me, Dalna Huffman trying to fight off. Osmond Perelku to the corner, three for Caden Paul. Nails it. Caden Paul for three. Tying right back at 20. Not, and that one missed. Air balled it. 2020 Osmond Perelku with the ball. Rolls left side, hangs it out towards Dalton Huff and open three. Nate Kramer doesn't go with it. And finds Caden. Caden Palm pops it out to Osmond Perelku. Perelku with a little stutter step, puts it up on the Euro, misses. Trying to get back defensively, there's Carter free tag, misses, and then Bennett free tag, moves things around. He gets the rebound, puts it up again, misses. And Caden Palm coming down with it, passes it before he falls down. And Nate Kramer will be there to help out. 5.30 to go here in the third quarter. Huffman with it, puts it up for two, misses, but gets the foul. Yeah, another foul on Bennett Freetag, his second team first. First shot for Huffman will fall. And 
And hits the second. Sparns up two. Free tag, top of the key. Hands it off on the rush, back out to the corner. Scott Norton. Three, that one misses. Norton able to get it. Inside, free tag, down low, and she Minetley. <laughs> Nate Call with his fourth foul. So two shots upcoming. It's his fourth, team second. First shot will fall. Kleinitz will come back into the game for Nate. Osman Peroku gets the rebound. Peroku drives, kicks it down to Tanner. And it's in for the dunk. Been waiting for Tanner to get one this year. 24-21 your score. And a foul charged. Looks like Osman Perelko will be called with the foul. His second team third. Brock Beekman will come in for him. Drive in, free tag, puts it in for two. Twenty-four, twenty-three. Corner for Pemble. Down low to Huffman. Huffman on the ground and gets it right back. He's gonna try and split the defenders. Can't. And it'll be Spartan ball. Three fifty-four. Huffman, looking for two, misses. Right there's Tanner to try and fight off, can't get it. The free tag coming down with the rebound, 3.45. Puts it up, that's gonna be a straight clean block. And everybody wearing purple did not think it was a straight clean block. Three for Gavin Pimble, nails it. Gavin gets his second three of the day. Oh, on the drive, puts it in, misses, and rebounded by Brock Beekman. Beekman driving right side, slows it down, picks it up, has it over towards Pimble. Pimble steps up, open three, he's gonna take it, misses. And there's Huffin trying to fight for it. And it'll be Tanner Pierce set to come into the game. Three ball for the Rockets, a little bit too short. And there's Tanner Kleindance, brings it up, slows down, but they're gonna call a blocking call. And it'll be out underneath the basket. Also Connor Upton set to come into the game. Who's the charge on? And, ooh, 34 maybe? Yeah, we'll just say 34. We'll give it to free, Reed Freetag, his second. Team second. 27-23. Always when you're far away from the score table, some of these referees like to hide the fingers. Over, ooh, can't get it. Just a little bit too far to the right, and it'll be a turnover. Haven't been too many turnover issues so far today. Really, it's been... Pretty good game so far. 
2.34 to go in the second, excuse me, in the thir third quarter. There we go. Looking on the drive right side. That'll be Carter free tag, puts it up. And here comes the other free tag, Bennett to put it up for two. Two ten. Connor Upton. Beekman with it. Looking out towards Tanner Pierce. Ryan back to Brock Beekman. Upton right back to Tanner. Tanner drives through. Three. Missed. And he'll oh, thought he's gonna be able to save it. Tips it. He goes over, puts it up, two. Misses. Rebounded by Kleindenz. Beekman with it. He's going to drive down. Puts it up for two. That one won't, but that'll be a foul. Two shots upcoming for Brock Beekman. <laughs> Referee talking a little bit. Be charged to Carter Free Tag. Shot will fall. Second one upcoming. And that one will miss. Rebound about an over the back call. Ooh. Uh oh. Watch out, Coach Snyder. Call was on Palm over the back. And another Spartan foul now, four for him. That one's stolen away by Brock Beekman. One on two, puts it up underneath, just rolls in. Brock Beekman for two. 30 25. Inside, top of the key, hands right back, didn't understand the give and go. And that will be Caden Paul. Fancy looking underhook there. And a timeout taken by the Rockets to stop the bleeding. Spartans here on the cutting edge run, 32 to 25. We'll take a break and be back on TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH. I chose MDH. Uh, we moved here and I was researching different places that would allow me to VBAC, um, uh, have a vaginal birth after C-section. And the doctors here do encourage that and so I, I chose that after looking online and I wouldn't want to deliver anywhere else because they all go above and beyond and they're so kind and actually care about you. At Western Illinois University, Leathernecks don't just blend in. Our purple stands out. Our students are innovative, creative, and resilient. At WIU, there is limitless potential, with campuses in Macomb, the Quad Cities, and online. Visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. And after the break, 32 to 25, 59 seconds left in the third quarter. This game brought to you by McDonough District Hospital, McDonough District Hospital Athletic Trainers and the MDH Rehabilitation Center. Locations in Bushland and Macomb provide expert help to Spartan student athletes in the prevention, care, and rehabilitation of all athletic injuries. Learn more at mdh.org. McDonough District Hospital, more than hospital care, a hospital caring. Two shots upcoming. I do believe that will be called to Tanner Pierce. Once again, the referee not helping me with the placement of his numbers. First shot for free tag, falls. Free tag leading score for the Rockets by far. Second shot for him. Misses and Tanner picks it right back up. He's fighting off the defender close to him. 39 seconds to go. 
Pierce calling for the screen. Has the two Tanners high, low. He'll go with the Pierce. Looking up towards Palm, Pierce down low. And a timeout taken by Coach Snyder. A 30 second one, so we'll just keep it here. This game brought to you by Heil Enterprises. Heil Enterprises and Heil Trucking can take your product down the road near or far and offers top notch heavy duty truck and trailer repair. The second generation business continues to grow and continues to support BBC Athletics. Stop by and see Danny or Travis on Route 41, South of Paris City, or call them at 309 775 3333. And also brought to you by MB Furniture, Bushnell's only furniture store. MB Furniture is the mainstay community and offers free delivery within 40 miles. For everything you need to furnish your new home or replenish an old one, stop in and see the fine folks at 41 West Main Street or find, or find them on Facebook, Instagram, or the web at www.mmbfurnitureinc.com. You can also call 309-772-2111. Caden Palm getting the five count, and a moving screen will be the call. That should be the fifth foul. That should be, oh, offensive foul, excuse me. A lot, of, a lot of new rules to figure out. Mostly it's just fouls and I'm stuck in my ways, but shot up for free tag, misses, gets his own, puts it up again, and that'll be the end of the third quarter. No shot. So 32-26, I don't know how I got an extra point in there. I do apologize. 32-26, we'll take a break and be back on TSR Game Time Live. Presented by MDH. I went through MDH when we were trying to get pregnant. We were struggling the first year and then when we got pregnant I stayed at MDH and through labor and now for pediatrics. My experience was nothing short of phenomenal. I met, was met with amazing staff members who helped me through concerns that I had when she was first born, helping me learn how to be a new mom. It was really reassuring and comforting knowing that I had so much support and kindness around me. My entire pregnancy at MDH was amazing. MTC Communications is building a high-speed fiber network in our community, and we're putting priority on the areas with the greatest interest. That means we need your input to let us know you want us to build fiber in your area first. Experience the speed and convenience of fiber internet by visiting our special website and registering. Let us know you want fiber internet today, and make your voice heard. And welcome back to TSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH 32-26. As the Spartans lead here into the start of the fourth quarter. Palm out there with Dalton Huffman, Tanner Kleindenst, Brock Beekman, and Gavin Pimble. Pimble up. Gives it to Huffman. It's like he thought he was going trying to get a high-low look, and they're looking for a screen, and he falls down. Just a little slippery dude are they? Tries to pass out, decides to go with it. Beekman into the corner, back up top. As they give it back to Pimple. Start out, a new offensive set. <laughs> Coach Snyder giving them every direction. Puts it up for two, misses, and an off-ball foul, offensive foul. Uh, I do believe on Brock Beekman. Let me watch this one again. Nope, they'll call it on Dalton Huffman. Oh, jeez, I don't even, oh. Maybe I got the number wrong, but watching back there, it just looks like Dalton Huffman went for a box out and the kid moved at the same time. 32-26, spin around, tipped by Tanner, right back to Reimolds, and then he gets the block. They'll set up underneath after the block by Tanner Kleindentz. Sets him up underneath, spins around, gets through, splits the defenders and puts it up for two, free tag. 
6.46 remaining in this game, 32-28. Kleindentz hands it back off to Pimble. Long three misses. Oh, man, I thought he had it. Free tag will get the rebound. Swings it around, drives in, puts it blocked by Dalton Huffman, snatches it straight out of his hands. Gets the screen, pops it out to Huffman, swings it down. Pimble. Excuse me, Caden Palm. And out of bounds, so it will go towards the Rockets. Osman Perelku back into the game. He'll switch out with Tanner Kleidens. This game brought to you by Rosie's Pizza. Rosie's Pizza offers something for everyone with pasta, sandwiches, and, of course, pizza. Dine in or carry out at 458 East Main Street in Bushnell. They also deliver to Good Hope, Adair, and all points in between. For delivery, call 309-772-2101. Free tag puts it up and in. Get a free tag. And stolen away on the fast break. Puts it up and misses. Oh, the foul on Brock Beekman. So two shots upcoming. Brock gets his second, team second. Good. This is the first. And hits the second. Scott Norton with one. Thirty-one, thirty-two, five twenty-seven. Perelku drives, kicks it right back out. Three for Pimble. Misses, but right there's Caden Palm. What are you calling? On him? The one who rebounded? He can't push anybody. He's got his two hands holding the ball. Good night. Five twenty, excuse me, five ten remaining. Drive in by Reimolds, misses. Rebounded, puts right back up, misses. Rebounded by Free Tech. Free Tech puts it in for two. As the Rockets take back the lead. 33-32. Osman Perelku with the ball, hands it off to Gavin Pimble. Pimble looking for Beekman. Kicks it right back, gets the screen. Nate Kramer set to come back into the game. Step, palm, two, in. Thirty-four, thirty-three, four thirty to go. Looking underneath, sends go right back. Give and go. Puts it in. Can't get the block. Two for Ryan Ryland Rimold. Rimold for two. And a timeout taken by Bushnell. A full timeout. So we'll take a break and be back on TSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. MTC Communications is building a high-speed fiber network in our community, and we're putting priority on the areas with the greatest interest. That means we need your input to let us know you want us to build fiber in your area first. Experience the speed and convenience of fiber internet by visiting our special website and registering. Let us know you want fiber internet today, and make your voice heard. There's been a lot of rewarding parts working at McDonough District Hospital. I've had patients come to me that maybe have not had care in the community, care available. So with the addition of nurse practitioners lately, we've been able to add more care and that's very rewarding to me. My hope is that when the patients leave at the end of an appointment, they leave and they definitely feel like they've been listened to and they feel like their needs have been met, their cares have been met, and that they're gonna get the proper treatment that they deserve from me as a provider.
And welcome back to TSSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. 35, 34, 4, 10 remaining. As the screen, Caden Palm puts it up for two, misses. Just a little short rebounded by Freetag. Three forty-five remaining. As they move things around, trying to get it high. Two free tag. Three by Reimolds misses, and fighting all over. And it will be a offensive rebound foul. Charged to, I believe, twenty. We'll give it to Scott Norton. His first, team first. Caden <laughs> Palm with it. Excuse me, that's Brock Beekman. And that's stolen away. Free tag read that perfectly. As they'll slow it down, move it around. Now 3.05 remaining in this one. Back inside, back out, three. Misses. Rebounded by Osmond Peroku. Tipped it around a couple of times, but he finally got it down. Underneath, wide open, Caden Palm. Big two-pointer for him. As the Spartans get the lead back, 36-35. Underneath, puts it up and misses. Palm with the rebound, Osmond gets the ball. Back up top at the logo. Looking towards right. Palm with it. Huffman back out. Gives it right back to Dalton Huffman. He looks over. Long two. Misses Dalton. Trying to come down with the rebound. Can't get it. And a timeout taken by the Rockets to talk this one over. We'll take a break as well on TSSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. It was the community that really drew me back to Macomb. I'm from a small community, uh, and I'm from a farm family, and ultimately I always wanted to practice in a place like that, and I felt that I had uh, the ability to connect to people who with a similar background from me, and the fact that the staff members at the hospital and the support, every, all the support staff at the hospital was also focused with the goal of patient care, it felt like it just all came hammered at home for me. There's been a lot of rewarding parts working at McDonough District Hospital. I've had patients come to me that maybe have not had care in the community, care available. So with the addition of nurse practitioners lately, we've been able to add more care and that's very rewarding to me. My hope is that when the patients leave at the end of an appointment, they leave and they definitely feel like they've been listened to and they feel like their needs have been met, their cares have been met, and that they're gonna get the proper treatment that they deserve from me as a provider. Uh, I see acute injuries on the field. Uh, I see uh, ankle sprains. I see ACL knee injuries, as well as in the clinic. It's very rewarding to see them from on the field injury to rehab to transition back to their event. And welcome back to TSSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. 36-35, Spartans up, 2-10 to go. Rockets with the ball. Osmond tries to get a little pick out. He'll look towards the right corner now. Swings it back around. Defense doing a good job of shifting. Reimold. He'll get right back in the, sit the same situation. Has a cutter, can't get it. Comes back around. Now back. Takes a drive. McGinnis passes it out. Has Reimold. Down inside, stolen away, Osmond Perelku. 1.25 to go, Spartans up one. Osmond Perelku with the ball, gets it across half court, and a timeout taken by Coach Schneider. We'll take a quick break and be back on TSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. At Western Illinois University, Leathernecks don't just blend in. 
our purple stands out. Our students are innovative, creative, and resilient. At WIU, there is limitless potential with campuses in Macomb, the Quad Cities, and online. Visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. Welcome back to TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH. Brought to you by King Family Chiropractic. King Family Chiropractic with locations in Bushnell and Macomb. Supports Bushnell Prairie City Athletics. They offer office hours in Macomb Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Bushnell Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. To set appointment, call 309-837-MYDC. That's 6932. They also perform DOT slash CDL physical for just $85. Also brought to you by Farmers and Merchants, State Bank of Bushnell. For over 100 years, Farmers and Merchants State Bank of Bushnell has been servicing the local community's needs for personal and business bank, as well as home and agricultural lending. Stop by its trust department, stop by the main branch at 484 East Main Street or their drive up facility on Cole Street to learn more. FNM is a member of FDIC and an equal housing lender. 119 to go, 36 35, Spartans lead. Kramer takes the ball out, gets it to Perelku. Osman gets it across, still at the logo. He'll drive in, kicks it out, but it's stolen away. 110 to go. Down one, Rockets with the ball. And that one's tipped. Last touched by the Rockets, Spartan ball. Coach Snyder reminded everybody to breathe. Slow down, just, just breathe. Gets it to Brock Beekman. Brock gets across half court. Drives in left side, kicks it to Nate Kramer. Nate Kramer, 55 seconds to go, still up one. Brock with the ball, drives inside, over. Dust, excuse me, Dalton Huffman in for two. Huffman gets it in for two. I don't know where my pencil was, so I can't record the stat. 38-35, <laughs> still put up. Misses, rebounded by Nate Kramer. 30 seconds to go. And Osmond Perelku has the ball, and they'll finally foul him. Took a while. Here's my pencil. So after the foul, it's their first team foul. And Kramer will take the ball out. Gets it to Huff. Huffman gets fouled. So start of the cascade of fouls upcoming. As Gavin Pimble comes into the game as they'll switch out with Nate Kramer. Fan section not liking that as Nate's been cooking. And they'll push Osman. Another foul, this time three team fouls. Excuse me, four. Pimble will take the ball out. All the way down, Palm, and he's gonna get hacked in the foul. Kaden Palm gets two and a chance to make a three point play to go up six. This game brought to you by Raritan State Bank. Raritan State Bank's Bushel Branch, located at 360 South Green Street in Bushel, offers full service banking and loan services for all of your banking needs. Come visit the Bank of Friendly Service or call them at 309 772 2345. Good luck, Spartans. Bushel Bankings, excuse me. Raritan State Bank is a equal housing lender and a member FDIC. And also brought to you by Devin Raleigh Shelter Insurance. All Spartan Sports this year brought to you by Devin Raleigh. We'll take a quick break and be back. MTC Communications is building a high-speed fiber network in our community. And we're putting priority on the areas with the greatest interest. That means we need your input to let us know you want us to build fiber in your area first. 
Experience the speed and convenience of fiber internet by visiting our special website and registering. Let us know you want fiber internet today and make your voice heard. And welcome back to TSNR Game Time Live. Big free throw, three point play, misses. Rebounded, 20 seconds left. Down the line, 40-35. Drive, two, misses. Rebounded by Osman Perelku. Osman foul, two shots upcoming for Osman Perelku. 40-35. So Osman Perelku will get two shots here to extend the lead. First one for Osman, rolls in. Second shot for him, nails. Forty-two, thirty-five, eight seconds to go. As they're going to call the timeout to make some substitutions. Forty-two, thirty-five. Spartans just need to lock in and hold. Here they come, to the corner, three. Misses, rebounded by Caden Palm. And the Spartans will take this one, 42 to 35, close game, as they're able to lock in in the fourth quarter, get through some foul issues, and come out with the victory over the Rushville Industry Rockets. 42-35, we'll take a quick break, get some stats here for you, and then we'll have Coach Snyder after for a quick post-game interview. Thanks for watching here on TSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. We'll be back in just a few. My experience with McDonough District Hospital was amazing. I have a lot of allergies, complicated by nasal problems. And the procedure I had is Vive Air. Dr. Sparks was incredible. The Vive Air procedure is a radiofrequency ablation procedure. She no longer has to do any medications to breathe, so she gets much more restful night's sleep. And a short little office procedure and have somebody that feels like it's totally changed their life means the world. It's a permanent improvement on the quality of your life. After my appointment that day, I just made up my mind that I'm gonna have my baby here in Macomb. <laughs> and this hospital because irrespective of where you're from, who you are, it's just their line of duty to make sure they give care, make you comfortable. I told about the staff of MDH, you know, they are, they are all good. And you will get all the support you need. This is just the best place for you and your family. MTC Communications is building a high-speed fiber network in our community, and we're putting priority on the areas with the greatest interest. That means we need your input to let us know you want us to build fiber in your area first. Experience the speed and convenience of fiber internet by visiting our special website and registering. Let us know you want fiber internet today, and make your voice heard. I chose MDH. Uh, we moved here and I was researching different places that would allow me to VBAC, um, uh, have a vaginal birth after C-section and the doctors here do encourage that and so I, I chose that after looking online and I wouldn't want to deliver anywhere else because they all go above and beyond and they're so kind and actually care about you. There's been a lot of rewarding parts working at McDonough District Hospital. I've had patients come to me that maybe have not had care in the community, care available. So with the addition of nurse practitioners lately, we've been able to add more care and that's very rewarding to me. My hope is that when the patients leave at the end of an appointment, they leave and they definitely feel like they've been listened to and they feel like they're 
needs have been met, their cares have been met, and that they're gonna get the proper treatment that they deserve from me as a provider. I would have to say that is the most rewarding part of what I do, making a difference in people's lives, taking care of uh, um, the women from puberty on through postmenopausal stages and seeing them go through the phases and stages of life. At Western Illinois University, Leathernecks don't just blend in. Our purple stands out. Our students are innovative, creative, and resilient. At WIU, there is limitless potential with campuses in Macomb, the Quad Cities, and online. Visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. And welcome back to TSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH, 42 to 35, your final, as the Spartans able to take it home. Leading score for the Spartans with 10, Caden Palm, followed by 10 for Dalton Huffman. Eight for Gavin Pemble, six. Oh, now I can't read my own handwriting. <laughs> Excuse me. Four for Brock Beekman, three for Tanner Pierce, two for Tanner Kleindance, and one for Osman Perelku. And for the Rushville Industry Rockets, 18 for Bennett Freetag. Just had everything controlled down low. Came their main go-to man when shots just weren't falling. 4-4, four, four, Jagger Bartlett. 3 for Carter Freetag. 3 for Rylan Reimolds. 2 for Scott Norton. 2 for Jackson Spencer. And 2 for Reed Freetag. So as we wait for Coach to get done talking to the team. We'll get set here, looking at it over the game. Pretty close throughout the most throughout most of it, but the big thing was fouls, especially late. As it seemed everybody underneath the sun was getting a foul for breathing, which we discussed a little bit earlier in the uh, JV game, but man, it just seemed to be a big deal over the entire thing. But the fouls were a little, just a little bit consistent today. So we'll take a quick break and be back. I would have to say that is the most rewarding part of what I do, making a difference in people's lives, taking care of uh, um, the women from puberty on through postmenopausal stages and seeing them go through the phases and stages of life. And welcome back to TSSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. Got Coach Snyder up here with the water, and boy, after a game like this, which is much sweat going down over there, you'll need it. <laughs> I know. I think I lost about 10 pounds of water <laughs> sweating over there. That's a good game. They're, they're, they're really, really young, and he has them. I know Coach Crum uh, going back, you know, a while. I'm not going to say how many years, but um, he's got them playing really well, and they're just really young. Um, they're going to keep improving all year long, and they'll be, by the end of the year, they'll be, they'll be somebody to, to worry about. I mean, just because they're that that young, they mm -hmm. just need the experience. So they'll they'll be tough. Two of their main players played most of the time in JV as well. Three brothers, I do believe, with the three ta free tags, and Bennett free tag number four down low yeah, he's, caused an issue, and he's, he's got another hand, year. He is a handful. He is. He's very. He's a very good ball player. Um, and his his brother uh, number two is that um, Carter. Carter. Uh, again, they're they play well together. Uh, they very good team basketball. Um, like I said, we were worried about uh, their shooting threes because what I have is that they all can shoot, and luckily they didn't hit too many. Um, but man, he he controlled inside for them, and he's a real good ball player. Shots, especially you know, not falling for them, started to fall for you guys later on, especially with Caden Palm and. Uh, Gavin Pemble able to spread that floor open lane for Dalton Huffman, especially Tanner Kleindans, too. Again, kind of like last year where he never had too many points, but him with that size is just a handful that everybody already opens up lanes. Right. When we can get the ball inside, you know, with with uh, Huffman and 
Kleindance and Kramer. I mean, it opens up those outside shots for us. And in the first half, we weren't hitting too many, but in the second half, we were. So uh, that's that's a huge, huge thing for us. Um, and, uh, you know, with Tanner's size and jumping ability, I mean, he's not real physical, but, man, he can jump, and we need him to control the boards for us. And, mm -hmm. and he did all right tonight. So, I mean, I'm proud that he played well. Had... You know, some foul troubles early. Nate Kramer couldn't really be in the game much with those fouls early. Big game by Dalton Huffman to step up and really take control down low on that post. Yeah, um, you know, and that's what we need. We need people to step up when we have um, um, foul trouble and stuff like that. Uh, um, you know, Dalton Dalton played well for us. Uh, I think he was still physically over overmatched, which was which was seen. But again, he's he's scrappy, and that's what helps him inside. So, um, just his ability to be scrappy and and uh, cause some havoc, I think, caused um, uh, Bennett some issues. But again, Bennett was he's a good ball player. Well, great job to make sure you guys got the win at home throughout a real close game through all of it. And we thank you for watching here on TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for everything you guys do up here. We appreciate it. I know there's a lot of people watching, so thank you.